Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another repair video. If you're having problems and you're getting a check engine light and it's coming up as the uh, mass airflow sensor, today I'm going to show you how to, how to replace it and uh, I'm going to give you some resources so that you can get it cheap, the mass airflow sensor. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to get it for really cheap at AutoZone or a lot of these other shops. They're going to sell it to you for $50 to $100. Um, this option is going to be very inexpensive for you. Again, link in the description below. All you're going to need is a regular screwdriver to take off the old one, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. All right, so your uh, mass airflow sensor is right there. It's going to be right by the uh, air intake, by the engine, and kind of by the end of the uh, engine bay there. So this is really what it is. It's a, this is a very simple um, repair. All you're needing to do is once you get up in here, and uh, you're going to need to detach this top piece just like that. So this is the electrical component that is attached to your mass airflow sensor. You got your new one here of course and this is what you're going to be putting right back in there. Your old one, this is the new one. This should fix your uh, check engine light and if not you're going to have to proceed to changing a few other things possibly. Your uh, spark plugs probably need to be changed and you have to have a tune up. I'm just going to grab your uh, screwdriver here. I'm going to again link in the description below. I'll leave a link for a screwdriver if you don't own one. Um, you can order that on, on Amazon as well. It's going to be very inexpensive for you. So just like that. Take that one off as well. Okay, so you got two screws. Take them off, you're all good. And you've got your sensor off there. Then you're just gonna go ahead and take it out. It's really that simple, just by taking it out just like that. This is the old one. Uh, you can try cleaning it. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. I'm just showing you how to replace it. It's a lot more sim simple and gonna go ahead and put in your new one all right so you're gonna go ahead and put your new one in there just like that very simple repair but this is kind of showing you where it's placed and I'm, I'm really just providing you with the resource for the parts if you have any other repairs on your Ultima that you're doing, um, possibly we'll have it on my channel. So go ahead and search for that. We're going to screw this right back down in there. And you should be good to go. Your check engine light should be gone. Okay, get your sensor there. I'm going to place it right over here. Click it right in place and you're done. That's that. That's all there is to it, guys. Probably the simplest, uh, simplest repair of 2019. Hope that this worked out for you and I hope that that resource I provided in the description below helps you save some money on this, uh, changing out this mass airflow sensor. Very easy to do as you can see here. Sorry, I had some bees coming to sting me there. Um, but when I was driving I felt, I pushed, you know, the, the throttle play was a little easier to kind of just pick up speed a lot faster and that was kind of strange to me because it doesn't normally do that I kind of was just pressing it down a little bit and it was you know speeding along so it normally does so if you want to just comment that in the description below what, what your experience was what the symptoms were when you were uh, driving uh, your car with the mass airflow sensor going out or at least having a check engine light for it uh, comment that below what your experience was but I hope this was helpful again uh, link in the description below for that uh, part Make sure to like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and until next time.